South Ark Spotlight is brought to you by Maxwell Hardwood Flooring. Maxwell Hardwood Flooring, located in Monticello, has been producing quality, solid, and engineer hardwood flooring for over 28 years. The company and sister companies, Washita Hardwood and Townsend Inc. in Warren, are proud to be providing American-made flooring to distributors and retailers from coast to coast while serving our local communities right here at home. Maxwell Hardwood Flooring, your best start for a great finish. Well, we want to wish good uh, day to everybody that's uh, listening at whatever point you listen to this program, but Celine River Chronicles and uh, Maxwell Hardwood Flooring is very happy to have two people uh, with us today uh, that work for the Southeast Arkansas Economic Development District out of Pine Bluff. Uh, some people may know what that organization is, but some may not, but we're glad to have Patricia Hargrove and Laura Allings here with us today, and we're going to talk about a program that's available in Southeast Arkansas that can help uh, small businesses particularly in uh, getting some uh, loan money out of a revolving loan fund. But I want to start out, Patricia, i go back with you a long way. I've known you quite some time and uh, appreciate you being here. You've been in Warren many times, many uh, times. Uh, over the years. And uh, of course, the Development District Headquarters is in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, but it represents the 10 counties of Southeast Arkansas. So obviously Warren, Bradley County, Hermitage, banks are all part of that development district and have representatives on the board. Could you tell our viewers just kind of briefly what the economic development district is and what kind of things y'all do? Sure, be happy to. Uh, Southeast Arkansas Economic Development District is a rural uh, economic development nonprofit organization that assists the 10 counties in the southernmost uh, area of Southeast Arkansas helping them improve their economic condition. We do that through our numerous programs that we administer is through workforce development. Um, we assist uh, eligible participants to go to school or to attend apprenticeship programs, those types of things, try to help improve their own economic situation by obtaining a job. Uh, we have a uh, grants department that assists cities and counties and sometimes nonprofit organizations in finding resources that can help them um, that can help them with um, completing projects in their area like infrastructure type projects to improve their situation. Uh, we have a solid waste recycling program which um, we assist counties and cities in recycling tires, uh, as well as, um, what is it, electronics, uh, glass, paper products, different types of uh, recycling type material in our 10 county area. We also have, and what we're gonna talk about today is a revolving loan program that assists small businesses in improving their particular situation. We participate with banks, and um, we even look at taking on those hard to fund or businesses who are unable to get funding through traditional means. Very good. Well, if I'm, I'm going to test my own history here a little bit because I go back a pretty long ways with the development district uh, in my career. I believe the district started off in about 1971 somewhere 1967 in that, 67 yes. well okay i was a little bit <laughs> off on that but i i knew it was back mm -hmm. there and kind of a creation of the economic development administration uh, that is correct we were created under a law under the economic development administration um i think public works law right. at that time yes okay well and and of course we're not the only development district in Arkansas or in America. There, mm -hmm. I think there's what, eight of them in Arkansas? There are eight in Arkansas and over 500 in America. So we have a large following. And the, um, the thing is that each district is, although we were all created the same, we tailor our programs and our district to fit our particular region. Gotcha. Well, uh, just for, again, for our viewers in Southeast Arkansas, but particularly in, in Warren and Bradley County, uh, the district has made a major impact on a lot of our communities over the 
the years. I just know that for a fact. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like our industrial park here in Warren was was uh, built with funding from EDA and, and other agencies that the development district helped us secure. Yes. So there's just been, I, I could go on, we could go all day talking about all the different things that the district's been involved in over the years is right here in Warren and Bradley County, but also district-wide. And, and uh, we, just, we just appreciate everything y'all always done for us, been very helpful all through the years. Well, we're happy to do it. Well, you do a good job. Uh, Laura, you haven't been around quite as long as Patricia has. No, but I haven't. We, She's the pro. <laughs> well, she is, but uh, we're glad to have you on board, too. You're the loan officer for the uh, this revolving loan program, and there's actually kind of two different, two different pots programs. of money, so to speak. Mm -hmm. One that's been in place for quite a number of years, and then a new one that came out as a result of the CARES Act and the COVID-19 mm -hmm. uh, Relief Act and so forth. Can you just kind of, again, explain the two programs a little bit? Okay, so the first program that you had mentioned that's been around for quite some time, um, that program is basically for businesses that are wanting to grow or, you know, needing to if, if you do a dump truck business and you need a new dump truck or something like that, you know, we're able to help you purchase those items and things like that. Um, with the CARES Act, now this is specifically for businesses that have been impacted by COVID. Right. And both of them are for small businesses only. Um, anything that has 150 employees or less are eligible. Um, trying to think too, you obviously have to be in the 10 county region, you know, to qualify for either loan. Um, but with the CARES Act, you know, it is about job retention. Mm -hmm. You know, it is definitely about making sure that, you know, if you are late on your rent payment for your, your business, you know, or things like that, you know, we want to be able to loan this money to keep your doors open to make sure that, you know, jobs aren't lost. If you have had to displace, you know, um, employees, then hopefully maybe we can help you bring them back. Right. So, you know, we're just there to offer things that I think a lot of people don't realize that we're, we're there to offer. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So uh, I imagine a lot of people say, well, don't the businesses just go to their, you know, local bank or financial institution or whomever they, they use for their right. banking. But lots of times these, they, they just can't qualify. They can't qualify because what I have noticed is because of COVID, a lot of people, business owners have been struggling. You know, they are behind on their bills. They aren't current. So when you go to your local bank, that's the first thing they're gonna look at is that credit score. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna look at the last year, you know, you've been late on this bill and this bill, you know, well, we understand that's the reason why you need this assistance. Right. You know, we understand that the last year has been tough on everyone, small business owners, you know, just people and their families in general. So we do take some of that into consideration when we are processing these loans. Um, we're not trying to disclude anyone, you know, but we want to help as many people as we can help. So we understand that there has been a need for the last year. So, you know, we really want to take a long look at what their need is and try to help them out and not single them out due to a credit score like a typical bank would do. So, so part of the reason for both of these pots of money, as I'll refer to them, are to try to help what could be a little more risk. higher risk type loans where a bank just simply can't do it, maybe because of banking regulations or there's just too risky or whatever the case may be. And while these funds, we're, we're trying to make good solid loans, it's not right. just giveaway money, it's just to give right. somebody and, and, and you, that you know you're not ever going to get paid back. Mm -hmm. But it is for a little bit more risky and, and, and those people or companies that just simply can't get what they need conventionally. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And two, like I think Ms. Hargrove did um, mention a while ago, we will partner with local banks. You know, sometimes yes. a local bank can only loan so much to a, 
potential client, you know, and they're needing just a tad bit more help. You know, the bank says we can loan you $50,000, but you need another 20. Well, we yeah. can partner with the bank to do that other 20 as well. Exactly. So. And, and Patricia from the, the past program, even before the, the new one, uh, we've done a lot of that. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of this uh, in, in going in with, with banks, so to speak, in, in a partnership basis. You are correct. We have partnered with uh, numerous banks in our area, uh, one being, I think, Commercial Bank mm -hmm. here in the area. Uh, and they've been very helpful in uh, going through the process. And the partnership has been very good, and we've been able to do some real good loans with them. Well, we want all of our banker friends throughout the 10 county area to hear this as well. Mm -hmm. I think we've communicated with most of them to let them know uh, what's available, and what's going on. Right. But certainly if they run across uh, loans just through their normal course of business that they just can't meet the need or mm -hmm. all of the need, then they need to get in touch with us as well. Right, we have talked to a lot of the local banks in our region just to let them know exactly that. You know, if you need a partner, we're here. If you cannot serve that client for any reason, not that we can make any promises, but send them to us, you know, because maybe we can offer something that you can't, you know, so versus sending them away, we want to definitely be another option for them. Or can you just in a kind of a layman's terms for, because that's the way I have to have to learn things, What's the process? Let's say uh, XYZ company, a sole proprietorship or small business has a need for $50,000 or mm -hmm. whatever it may be. What should they do? Um, depending on your need, I typically love for people just to reach out to me first and let's make sure which program fits your need. Um, if you really know that COVID has been you know, your main issue, then you can get online to our website. There is an application that is out there. There is an additional forms link that is there with the application. Um, if you wanna start out with that and just fill it out and submit it to me, it makes it very easy for me to be able to overlook that and kind of get a general idea of what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, once they've submitted that, there's a few more things that I'll ask for and um, typically just standard things, tax returns and things like that. And once we get that loan package together and get it ready to submit before the board, that's really about it. And then the board takes over and they say yay or nay and we go from there. But so far we've had good success with mm -hmm. our board, you know, really putting themselves out there and helping these companies. Well, to provide full disclosure here, uh, of course, I'm, I'm on the board from Bradley County. Patricia, while you're the head of the development district from an administrative standpoint, you're also a board member uh, for the revolving loan fund uh, representing uh, Jefferson County because that's where the headquarters is. But we have other representatives from, I don't think we have somebody from every county yet. That's kind of our but goal. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Mm -hmm. We're trying to have a representative on the revolving loan fund board. Right. And by the way, that's called SAVE, mm -hmm. South Arkansas Venture mm -hmm. Enterprises is the actual name of the, of the organization that, that uh, makes the decisions on the loans. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to make sure we have somebody from each of the 10 counties. And I think right. we have a good number of them represented right now. We do, we right. have seven. We have seven, so of, seven the of the ten. seven of the ten, and we're mm -hmm. trying to, to come up with some board members from the others. Right. But and again, people apply for the money, mm -hmm. yes. and then ultimately it goes to this board, Right. and the board makes a final determination if this is an appropriate loan, if it meets the criteria, if it's whoever's applying is really in need. Mm -hmm. Uh, we like to think they have a chance to pay it back. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just like a bank loan. You're not, you're trying to look at good bankable loans, even if they are a little bit more risky. Right, you're correct. Uh, one thing I do want to stress uh, is if you are a business that has been affected by COVID, whether you are open or not, it can be a business that has been closed as a result of COVID. Mm -hmm please feel free to contact us. That does not negate the fact that you, you might not qualify. If you have been closed as a result of COVID, please come to us and talk with Miss Laura and see if you're eligible as well. 
Well, well that's, and that's really one of the main purposes of us doing this interview. And uh, we want everybody to know uh, in all these counties that if you've got a need, COVID-related, caused by COVID, but if it's another, it's just another project where you're trying to expand or, or need to do something, you just haven't been able to get the money that you need. Uh, now, we got limited amounts of money. Yes. It's, it's not unlimited, and, and it is a revolving loan fund and where we hope people pay it back mm -hmm. with a little bit of interest. It's, mm -hmm. it's not a high interest rate, right. but a little bit. And then we're able to continue the program and continue to loan more money. That's correct. And that's something that I would like to bring to their attention to, you know, just because like with the first program, if there's not enough money there to help you now, that's not saying that we can't help you in the future. Right. So I don't want people to be discouraged if we say, you know, hey, we can't do it today because in a month or two we might can. Um, and I also want people to understand as well that if you have any inclination in your heart or mind that you might qualify, please call me. Because a lot of people that I've talked to have kind of put it off because they said, well, I didn't think I would qualify. Well, don't just assume, just call because we are there to help. You know, we're not, obviously we can't do every loan application that we get. There are gonna be some that you have to say no to, but a lot of the times, most of the people, they do absolutely qualify and they second guess themselves thinking that they don't and we don't want to see that, so. Absolutely. Well, this is probably a good time for us to give them a telephone number uh, how they contact you. Yes, they can contact me at the office. It's 870-536-1971, or they can reach out to me by email as well, which is laura.owings at southeastarkansas.org. Okay. Well, uh, and we'll probably try to get that number put in there one more time. Uh, yeah. And I think that's why when I started the program out, Patricia, and I said I thought the development district had been around since 71. Mm -hmm. That was the that telephone number stuck in my oh, mind, okay. 1971. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, uh, I want to go back just a little bit about the development district, mm -hmm. uh, make sure everybody knows that this is a credible program. This is not just some, uh, you know, some fly by night type thing. It's mm -hmm. the money comes from the federal government. That, yes that I guess the seed money, if you will, that that uh, put the save board into business. Mm -hmm. But the development district, uh, the board of the development district mm -hmm. itself, yeah. now, there's two different organizations here. There's the save board, and then there's the Southeast Arkansas Economic Development District Board. Yes. And, and again, it's the 10 counties of Southeast Arkansas now. Can you help me rattle off the 10 counties of Southeast Arkansas? Sure, sure. Arkansas, Ashley, Bradley, Cleveland, Drew, Deshay, Grant, uh, Jefferson, Lincoln. Okay. Hope everybody got that. If you're in... Okay. Is it Chico? Is oh, Chico? I have to say Chico. Well, the most southeast, <laughs> most southeast county of yes. all, uh, yes. Chico, our good Chico friend county. down there. Yes. And uh, of course, County Judge uh, uh, Judge Mack Mack Ball, Ball is on our save board from yes. down there. So, yes. but uh, so if you're in any of those counties, first of all, you're eligible mm -hmm. to apply. Mm -hmm. Eligible to apply. And we encourage you to do so. And we want you to do so. But I want to get back again to the development district mm -hmm. itself. And the makeup of your board is elected officials, non-elected officials. Can you kind of explain that just a little bit? Yes, our board is made up of the uh, 10 county judges and the uh, cities of the first class and the cities of um, the where the county seat is located, as well as some um, leaders of the community. We have 55 members on our CED board right now. Okay, so that's a, that's a pretty good size board. Yes. And as you talked about when we started the program, now the development district's involved in a lot of different things. Oh, it's yes. not, not just the, the, the save loan program, mm -hmm. but involved in an awful lot of different things that y'all work on from time to time. Uh, obviously, you're there to assist the local governments. I know you guys do a lot of grant applications. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, county judge or a mayor or somebody will come to you and say, we've really got this need. What programs do y'all know about out there that mm -hmm. that might help us with some funding? You help them put the applications together. You do a lot of things. And then you also administer the grants sometimes. That's correct. Yes. 
we assist them. There are so many state and federal funding programs that are available, and we try our best to stay on top of all the funds that are available. So when the cities and counties do come to us and they're in need of funds or resources for a project, we can at least let them know and or go after those funds to assist them in whichever way we help in the development of those projects so we can put together a competitive application because they're competing with the entire state the uh, delta region as well as if it's a federal they're competing with other states so we try our best to put together a package that will increase their chances of getting these resources and if they get those resources, we assist them with, uh, with uh, administering those funds to make sure they stay in compliance with the um, rules and regulations that govern those dollars. So they come to us and we get a lot of, re um, a lot of requests every yes. day. In fact, we are in a grant cycle right now. Um, we work with Arkansas Economic Development Commission. They get HUD funds and they have this community development block grant program. So right now it is open uh, general assistance project uh, app, uh, funding so we can assist our cities and counties. We've already, we've already reached out to the ones that we think are eligible and are encouraging them to get in contact with us so we can put together a package within the uh, amount of time necessary uh, to submit it before deadline. Well, I'm going to take a little bit of point of personal privilege here and just so uh, some of our viewers and more may know this, but others may not. Uh, one of the first organizations I ever worked with when I went to work for the city of Warren in 1975, <laughs> and don't anybody out there do any calculations on how old that makes me or anything like that, but I'm, I literally went to work for the city of Warren, and one of the first things I worked on was the old community development block grant program. Mm -hmm which back in those days, we had to apply for directly to the federal government to mm. get those kind of funds. And the first place, uh, Mayor uh, John Frazier at the time, uh, sent me, the first place he sent me to learn how to work on some of these things was the Economic Development District in <laughs> Pine Bluff. Mm -hmm. So uh, obviously I got a, a, a special place in my heart about the Development District because it is, just been kind of part of my life for all, all of these years and then ultimately got to serve on the on the board mm -hmm. and, and uh, then of course the solid waste district that you talked about that's a separate entity too technically yes. but the development district is kind of the managing agency for the mm -hmm. solid waste board mm -hmm. you just briefly maybe touch on that too, see how that's set up? Yeah, uh, Southeast Arkansas Economic Development District, although we, I guess you can look at us as the parent. Right. <laughs> the parent that's agency. And underneath, there are all these different um, types of organizations that kind of branch from under us, like the SAVE program, which is its own little entity. There's another one like uh, you were speaking of the solid waste recycling. Yes. Okay, regional solid waste. Uh, that is another entity under it. And we, um, uh, we help our, like I said, cities and counties with their tires. So if you see those big tires on the side of the road or the bins with the tires, we're, we're about recycling tires in Southeast Arkansas. Um, uh, recycling electronics, recycling paper, any type of recycling more than likely is coming through our district. And the same thing with um, our workforce development. That's another little subset of right. under us. That's another type of funding. Uh, and uh, they have their own board as well. So all of that comes under our little parenting agency, I guess you can say, is see it. Okay. Well, uh, I, again, I had the privilege to serve on the development district board and the solid waste board yes. at, at various times. And I know our local officials now mm -hmm. are also involved in those organizations. I know Mayor Pennington is, is involved, uh, uh, County Judge McKinney, yes. and I may be skipping somebody, but there's, there's, uh, they're all involved in these, in these programs and on mm -hmm. these boards. So, uh, I know they're all very active in trying to, to help things develop and, yes. and take place in, in Warren and Bradley County as the other judges and mayors are and, and other business people in the, in the uh, other nine counties. Mm -hmm. All right, let's, let me let's just back on the, on the SAVE program because I really want to put an emphasis on that. Uh, give, that give that number again, how they reach you. 
536-1971. Okay, and, and they can ask for you directly? Ask for me directly, yes. Okay, and uh, so when I call you up, if I called you up, I don't think I'm eligible, but I because I, if I call you up and I tell you I need X number of dollars, mm -hmm. I think that's you know kind of what I'm looking at for right. to buy something or to expand or to try to keep my business going as re as a result of the COVID. What are you going to tell me? Well, to do, I'm going to decide first what program is best for you and then i'm going to tell you to get on to our website which is www.southeastarkansas.org and right on the home page you can't miss it it's big and it'll slap you in the face there's two links there one for the application and one for the additional forms so that'll be the first starting point is to fill that out and get it to me asap um if you qualify for the original save program i will get that application to you we don't have it on our site right now but i do have it so typically i'll email it if you don't have access to email we can mail it out and mail you a packet you know we've done that to get people started and um, but that's the first thing i mean it's it's very simple now the application it seems a little intimidating and it's a little lengthy but it's very simple it's not hard but if you have questions throughout the application i always encourage them to call me and let me help you, yeah. you will help with, with that, even, even filling out the application. If you need help filling out the application, you don't quite understand something, I mean, I'd rather you call me and let's do it together than give up. And, and, and I don't want to see that happen because, like I said, it gets a little intimidating, but it's fairly simple, and I'm always there to help. Okay. Well, and you kind of touched on one of the things I want to bring up. Mm -hmm. I know we do have some people in our, our area that, you know, don't do the internet mm -hmm. uh, thing. Uh, don't do uh, or don't have email or don't have access really to, to do that type of thing. But if they'll just call you. Mm -hmm. If they'll call me, then we you, can make provisions around that. You, you can make provisions to get them yeah. what they need and, uh, and to help them uh, get the information together. Correct. Because we understand that not everybody is in an area that has internet. Not everybody is in the position that they're comfortable with the internet or email, you know, I mean, so we want to make sure that we're still there to help even without those amenities. Okay. Well, uh, what, what am I forgetting that we need to, to pass on to, on any of these topics? Uh, either one of you got anything that I may have just absolutely forgotten and, uh, that we need to make people aware of? Well, the only thing that I would like to add is something that we just talked about is our board. We do have three positions open mm -hmm. for um, the Grant. Save board. Yes, the SAVE board mm -hmm. um, for Grant County. Um, for Grant County, Arkansas County, and Cleveland, and Cleveland County. Okay. Yes. So, so uh, anybody would, out there listening? Uh, we would just encourage if you know someone that sure. might be interested in being on the SAFE board, if they have the time and, you know, the want, and just to contact us. And, and you know, we have applications for that as well. Um, so we would be interested in recommendations. Mm -hmm. we're, we're looking for people that know their community pretty well. Yes. And, 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 uh, they know their community. Um, they are familiar with small business and they understand about revolving loans or loans in general banking. So they can make sound decisions when the, we bring forth an app, when uh, the district bring forth an application for a review. Well, uh, I appreciate that. And I'm going to go ahead and, uh, tell people, especially in the uh, Warren Bradley County area, they're welcome to call me mm -hmm. and I'll put them in, you know, in touch with, with you, Laura. And so, uh, Greg Reap at 820-2403, feel free mm -hmm. to give me a call. I'm, okay. I mean, I, I want to see this money used by people that need it. Absolutely. Yes. But also to benefit our businesses, uh, either new ones or, or existing businesses, mm -hmm. because our small businesses, uh, our industries, big industries, important, absolutely important. But our small businesses are really the kind of the nuts and bolts of, of a lot of our local communities, and we we want to help them survive, but also grow, right. right? If at all possible, because that's what it's all about, right? 
So uh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And one thing I would like to say is, uh, yeah, the district has been around for a very long time. But if you're not familiar with us and are interested in us or any of our services, especially the revolving loan program, I mean, this goes out to smaller cities and communities and you just want, you just need some assistance, please give us a call at that same number, 870-536-1971. And we will see what we could do to help you bring you in and just even educate you about things that are available that can assist your uh, jurisdiction. Well, you, you make a very good point there, Patricia. Uh, there, are, there are programs out there uh, for various things, especially uh, the economic development, uh, community development type things, as well as business. And uh, we want to make sure that Southeast Arkansas, uh, of course, I'm kind of partial to Warren and Bradley County, although I, you know, we've got a lot of friends and and relationships in these other counties, and I want them to do well too. I'm not, yes. but we want our share, is what yes. I guess I'm getting around to saying. We want to make sure that legitimate endeavors can get the help that they need. Exactly and uh, try to keep our communities as strong as we can in this part of the state. I, I know things are, are often tough in mm -hmm. Southeast Arkansas uh, from an economic standpoint. Uh, not, not anybody's fault particular, it's just kind of the way it is sometimes. Mm -hmm. And we got a lot of things we need to build and work on and do, both public and private. Mm -hmm. And the development district's really there to help both. That is correct. And we're here and we're more than willing to help you. And we will help you at the level where you need. Uh, some, like you said, are familiar with uh, in, um, internet and they have the capabilities of doing Zoom. However, if you don't have that and you don't have the capabilities of doing that, then we still want to help you because you need assistance for your uh, jurisdiction and the people of your community. And if your agency or any of the uh, sibling agencies mm -hmm. uh, uh, that you mentioned, if they can't help, oftentimes you might know who to tell them to go to. That is what correct. What other organization or agency to go to that is uh, for help. Now, not here to promise everybody the moon. We can't do everything uh, for everybody and certainly have limited resources, mm -hmm. but we we want to use them wisely. That is correct. You and it's so definitely correct. worth a shot for them to give us a call. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Well, Patricia, thank you so much. It's it's so kind of uh, you to come down today. And not, like I said, not your first time being Warren Arkansas. <laughs> any means you're down here a lot. We appreciate that. And, and your staff, uh, other you. members of the staff as well. Laura, we are so happy to have you uh, on board and the work you've already done. You put this thing together pretty fast. Of course, you had to. I did. Uh -huh. I couldn't disappoint this lady here. <laughs> <laughs> she, she stepped out on a limb, and I have enjoyed every minute of it. And the people that we have helped, I mean, it has been very rewarding. It's amazing. Very good. Let's give them that phone number one more time. Okay. 870-536-1971. Okay. Got that, 870-536-1971. Mm -hmm. uh, and ask for Laura if you're interested in the in the revolving loan fund, uh, either either pot of money. Mm -hmm. Patricia, you can uh, you can help people with some other things that they, they may be interested in. Or if you just want to know what's going on. Yes. Yeah. And uh, be aware of it. So again, on behalf of uh, Southeast Arkansas, and particularly Warren and Bradley County, <laughs> with uh, my background, I want to thank y'all for everything you do and try to help us while you try to help us. Uh, you're good folks on top of everything else and uh, just try to do the right thing and help our people. Well, thank you so much. It is our pleasure, seriously. Okay. Well, thank you both for being here today. Thank you. Thank you.